Today's Hands on Gardening, I'm joined by Steve Hunzinger from the UW Extension Office, and we are talking about the Japanese beetle. And uh, boy, these things are real pests, uh, not only for rose bushes, but uh, various plant species will get eaten by these guys. So, uh, good time now to uh, control them. That's right. They're a pest of over 300 ornamental species, and they really like some of our plants, like our roses and other uh, sensitive plants. They tend to be a feeder of the petals and the leaves, so as we see on some of the plants that we have here, the damage can kind of skeletonize or create holes in it, and it leaves very few, if any, petals that it's going to be on the yeah, plant. Yeah, they really do. Go, the, the leaves look very lacy. They, they looks like they chew holes in it as well. Uh, how, do you, how do you treat these plants? Well, I think our best bet is to try to get these uh, adults when they're actually out feeding or doing their feeding, and that's usually in the afternoons. It tends to be a prime feeding time for them. We can use different insecticides, either... Uh, um, sprays or dust, it doesn't really uh, matter depending on what the label is for, and make sure they are labeled for the Japanese beetle. Okay, and you may have to apply more than once. That's correct. You're going to want to watch because the populations can tend to increase. Once a few come in, they tend to group together or gather. So some of the trapping methods that go on, they can be effective at getting some, but it might attract others to come in as well. Okay, and how long are they around? Uh, are they going to go away soon? Or? They usually start in June as a grub and then move into the adult stage rather quickly into July. We tend to see them taper off in August. We've seen quite a population this year into August, but hopefully by the end of the month or shortly thereafter, we're going to see populations start to decline. All righty, thank you very much, Steve. That is today's Hands on Gardening. You know, the thing about it is, is um, we showed you what the beetle looks like. It's got the greenish sort of the translucent back. You will know if you have a Japanese beetle infestation because they will... They're just like whole colonies will be on your plant. You'll be able to see they'll be flying around. Mm. It's very, very noticeable. You'll, you'll figure it out right away. Um, probably the key to that, though, is you're probably going to have to treat your plants at least uh, a couple of different times because you'll wipe out the, a bunch of them, and then as others fly in, you'll have to get them too. But uh, kind of a pain. It's always so disheartening. You've got these beautiful plants. They yeah. come into the spring with these great colors and foliage, and, and they then can they really wreck the roses. Yeah. I had a problem with them last year, so and they, they did a number on my rose bushes. It's so. not the Japanese beetle. It's something else. The rose chick. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel too. like it's rose something chick. else always. All right, thanks, yeah. Corey.